Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look on my progress on the Deinonychus Skull 3D print. Now I know I probably should have been making progress videos on each piece and how I glued them together, but I have more projects um, on the way, more skulls and whatnot, that I'll do tutorial videos and whatnot um, on. I said whatnot twice, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, no. So this is a life-size Deinonychus Skull. And I got the file off of uh, Thingiverse for free, um, and you can see it is in chunks because I have a small um, miniature model printer. I think I got six or eight k um, resin for like D and D figures and stuff. But I thought, hey, I'd like to try out a life-size skull. I know I should have probably used a filament printer, and if I'm going to be making anything larger than this. I'm probably going to start using a filament printer, um, pretty cheaper and uh, lightweight and whatnot. But I also made this um, completely filled in. Usually when I'm making larger sculpts like this or prints like this, um, I hollow them out to save on resin and also to uh, make it lightweight. Now this guy took about two bottles of resin, I can't remember how many uh, uh, how much resin that is in particular. I'll do a, um, another video in a bit showing uh, the printer that I used. I think it's M any cubic photon something. Um, but it, I think each bottle was $40 Canadian, so this print itself was around $80. Um, it had an error printing on um, one of the, the sides of the jaw here, so I had to reprint it and uh, I couldn't get the file back up, so I had to kind of guess the size of it, and it got a little warped, you can see. I'm going to have to sand these down, and um, I might use some clay or putty or hot glue to fill in the cracks. It also had a little error here uh, where it didn't bridge that gap. You can see on the other side, it's got that section there. Um, but yeah, so this, uh, certain pieces got warped, and you can see they're not lined up too well. So I'm hoping to sand those down and make them more um, nice and flush to each other. But this is a spectacular piece because now I have a, um, a pretty uh, impressive display piece. Um, I do a few fossil shows and uh, table booths at events and usually I like to have a dinosaur skull or two on the table. And I thought now that I have the 3D printer, I can kind of up my game and uh, start making more uh, cool educational pieces. So this skull, um, I was lucky enough to find for free, but I'm eyeing up some different files on other websites. Um, that cost around like 10 to 20 bucks. Um, some of them are either scans of dinosaur skulls where others are like, um, people make like replicas, um, 3D sculpts of them online and then uh, they look pretty much ex uh, like identical to the real uh, thing, so I'll be looking into those, but first of all I have to get a larger scale filament printer, um, which will save me a lot of money, and uh, I think the only downside is the lines that it has in it, I'll have to sand those down, but anything larger than this it shouldn't really matter. Um, so I'll do a video, uh, hopefully soon, of... Um, me filling in these little cracks, sanding them down, and then painting it, and then a, a final video showing the outcome. But stay tuned for different skulls and other uh, 3D prints. I want to try and do a life-sized uh, Beals Bufo, the giant frog. Um, I've got a file of that that I want to test out. And uh, I'm kind of looking at doing a life-sized Allosaurus skull. But I think I'll be purchasing a uh, filament printer before then so I can use that to make it because I don't want to spend loads on resin uh, and hours and hours. Um, I think each piece on here took around 5 to 12 hours to print. Um, so a large Allosaurus skull would take like 2 or 3 weeks um, and then I have to glue it all together. But if I used a, a large filament printer I'd probably need to print less pieces and there might be less warpage happening on the pieces so we'll see I'm just going with the flow and learning as I go but for now this is pretty awesome pretty sick um, and I can't wait to show you guys the finished product 
So make sure to check out my uh, channel and subscribe if you want to see updates on this as well as more 3D prints and other cool models that I've been uh, working on. Um, I have some Cambrian critters that I've been painting and whatnot which I'll make some videos of hopefully soon. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those again and I'll see you all in the next video then. Bye bye.